What's up champions, welcome back to Jet Surf Edition, your place where we test and review different jet boards and e -foils. Today we're testing this JK Ethan. look how cool the color is, it's my favorite. Let's open the box and see what's inside and try it in the water. Let's do it! It's time to open the box! Let's see what we got here. So here we have the instructions, or the manual if you prefer. It says here how to use it. You can use the paddling, and you can paddle on your surfboard. Or... Here is this, Ethan! Look how cool the color is! Wow, it's the teal. It's my favorite color. Wow, it's really big and quite heavy. I guess it has a lot of battery power. The capacity of this fin is 222 watt hours. And inside we have a lithium ion battery with a voltage of 22.2 volts. The driving power is 400 watts. And the charging time is about three and a half hours. And how heavy is this thing? The total weight is just two kilograms. Here's the remote control because you can operate, you can put it on your finger, obviously for me it's too big, but here is the remote operator. It's not for the finger, that's for the paddle oh. of your stand-up paddle board. <laughs> that's for my finger. And you attach it right here. It has two modes, the manual mode, which is operated by the slider, you can go up and down to change the power and automatic mode, which operates automatically when you do strokes with your paddle, it gives you a little bit of a boost. And here it says all about it. Here we have the adapters. Here we have some black adapters, here we have a transparent white adapter thing. What are they for? These are adapters to attach your fin to different kinds of surfboards and stand up paddle boards. US adapter, slide in adapter, everything you can choose. Isn't this the same? It's important to order the correct adapter for your correct board. Here are some tools to attach your Ethan to your board. Here's a charger for the fin. And here's a charger for your little remote control. And it's all magnetic charger, so you don't need to plug in anything here. There are two things you can use. You can use stand up paddle, which isn't here now, and you can use the regular board. You can surf on the board on the waves when the wave comes to go extra boost. If you remember last year we tested boost fin. Boost fin is obviously two times smaller and has less power so it will be very interesting to compare the JK fin to the boost fin and see which one is better. Alright, here we go, let's see if we can attach it to our board. First we need to check which adapter we need. So first we screw the adapter in. You put the adapter depending on what board you have. Now you take the fin and put it like Alright, the fin is attached and ready to go. As for remote, I made a couple of modifications here. First of all, I added a hand strap and attached it to the remote so I don't lose it in the water if we go surfing. And second, you can use a special secret menu here to change the settings. For example, you can change the power settings synchronize remotes and things like this. You can read about it in the manual. It's all ready to go, but it only works in the water. Let's try it, but remember, it only works in the water. I can hold it anymore! Ah! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> and then test it in the ocean. Let's do it! It's a beautiful Sunday morning here at the lake. Join me for our subboard ride to test the new JK fin. Let's see how it works and what I think about it. Today I'm using a self-inflatable SIPA board. If you missed my video review, check it out. We made it a few months ago. It's a great self-inflatable board with a little bit of propulsion. And I'm going to compare it to the power of the JK fin today. Now I turn on my SIPA board. As you can see, this is the maximum speed that I get. It's quite slow and honestly, it's quite noisy as well. So let's turn on our JK fin and I'm going to use the manual mode. I'm putting the power up and if you can hear it, it's on. Woohoo! And we are moving with the power of JK fin. Woohoo! Very cool speed. Love it. I made 
amazing time here at the lake. I really like to go once in a while stand up paddle boarding. And products like this help me get back to the shore when I go back against the wind. So here is what I like about JK Finn and what I don't like about it. First of all, I really enjoy that it's all in one solution. There are no boxes with a battery to install, there are no cables to connect. It's just one fin, you plug it in and you're ready to go. The power is quite strong, they have two modes you can choose from and it's very easy to charge using the magnetic charger. What I didn't like about it is the fact that it cannot be used in the ocean, in the surf, like a boost fin. The problem is the antenna is not strong enough, so when you sit on the board, the signal doesn't reach your remote control. I hope in the future versions of the JK fin they will improve the antenna or maybe make some sort of the signal extender cable, which will help you use it in the surf as well. I think it has a lot of potential to be used in the real ocean as well, not only in the stand-up paddle boarding. All in all, I think it's a great product for everyone who wants to motorize their stand-up paddle boarding uh, to have some great time at the lake with less effort or maybe use it even in the open ocean to help you get back home on those windy days. That's all for today guys, I hope you enjoyed our quick video review and as always don't forget to subscribe, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers! And I'll keep on riding, but I'm not going to paddle, let's turn it on and go lazy man's way. Oh yeah, that's more like it. Woo! Amazing. Cheers.